So you might be in a position where for some reason you can't unsend any iMessages anymore. Now what does this mean? Well basically you just went through and basically sent somebody an iMessage. So if I send somebody pay or whatever and I hold it down, you can see I no longer have that little option to unsending or to unsend that iMessage. Now this can happen for a few different reasons, but the number one reason why this ends up happening is because you basically waited too long to unsend that message. So if I were to go right here, right, and if I were to type in like hi or something like that, let me just redo this. If I type in like hi, like this, and if I were to send this message, well, basically this message will send, but if I hold this message down, I can undo that send by clicking undo send. But there is a time limit in which I can go ahead and undo that send. So if I'm sending a text to an iPhone or iMessage, I'm not going to be able to undo that send if it's less than a certain amount of time or if it's over a certain amount of time. If it's less than a certain amount of time, then you're fine. But if it's like days and days after, there's just nothing you can do. Now, on top of that, if you're sending a message to an Android device and you try undoing that send, it's not going to work there either. You really have no other choice. You can try undoing that send, but it's not going to delete on their side since they don't have iMessage. That's another thing to keep in mind. Now, there's also a chance that if they're on iOS 16 or below, if you send somebody an iMessage there, they're not going to be able to go ahead and actually undo that send or not see it from their side. Now, if they're on iOS 16, they'll be fine, but if it's below iOS 16, like iOS 15 or 14 or 13, same exact thing. They're not going to be able to undo, they're still gonna be able to see that message basically. So there's not really much you can do there either, so you're just gonna have to kind of live with it. Now, you can also try updating your iPhone. This is another thing you can try doing. So make your way over to your iPhone settings. I'm gonna click on general, I'm gonna click on software update, and all you're going to want to do here is basically update your iPhone. This is another thing you can try doing, which could end up fixing the problem for you as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.